Darren, fantastic that you've given us an opportunity to come through Arsenal's training ground. I want to know, right, I was a Liverpool fan growing up as a kid because of Craig Johnson. They've got pretty good training facilities. Chelsea, top notch. I want to see if this compares to anything like it. What do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon, I reckon we'll come out on top. So this is uh, the treatment room, physio room. It can be a pretty lonely place. So we thought we'd try and put some inspirational quotes and stories. So one of them, as you know, a good friend of yours is Petr Cech and, and he had a pretty horrific injury. So that just kind of tells the story of, of his injury and his recovery and the thoughts that he was going through. Yeah. So that guys who are laying down here, not always on Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat or something, can, can have a look at it. He's been brilliant, Petr. I mean, he's probably the greatest goalkeeper in the history of the Premier League, he still wants to learn and listen and say, what do you guys do in Australia for this? Or what yeah. do you, what's your history tell you? And I'm like, how, how can I be telling you? You've kept over 200 clean sheets, but he's that humble and that, you know. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a star. So these are players' uh, change room. One of the luxuries of having a, a big budget and a big club, we can, we've got two chefs upstairs plus one who travels with yeah. us. Each morning the players will have a, there's a bunch of iPads that are on the table here and they can order whatever they want uh, for, from the chef. I mean, the food up there is amazing anyway. Yeah, the only reason the food's amazing up there is because you nicked the chef from Chelsea. Yes, we did. That's He's an absolute reason. star. He said uh, there were certain players that were very fussy about their food and I said, I bet you that <laughs> would be who they were. Cryotherapy is like an ice bath on steroids, if yeah. you like, and so yeah. it's only three minutes. Two big anecdotal things that it does, and we've done some tests on this, it improves sleep unbelievably well. So the other thing it does, it actually increases your testosterone levels. So 24 hours before a game, put players in cryo and 24 hours after their, their testosterone levels are elevated and that's what you want during a game. So this is our recovery area. We have um, a hydrotherapy pool, a couple of ice baths, warm bath, a couple of steam rooms, sauna. So tell me one player that will basically do everything that you offer him. Hector Bellerin. So he's open to anything and everything. Anything, anything and everything. He's a vegan, so he's very aware of what goes into his body. You know, the mindfulness and meditation, he was like, yeah, let me at it, let me at it. We own the areas all around the training pitch as well. There's nine pitches, yeah. um, plus goalkeeping area up the back there. We hide the goalkeepers as far away from the real <laughs> footballers as we can. And then the, the three pitches here, two of them are under soil heating for obviously the, the weather. Um, so we have a big indoor area, but we rarely use that. So this is the dining room. Um, it's probably a little bit bigger than some of the other clubs you've been to. We have uh, about 250 people to, yeah. to serve. Uh, Arsene was very, very much a foodie. About two years ago, he was eating at uh, Raymond Blanc's, one of his restaurants. Raymond Blanc came out and said, I'm a huge fan. And oh, wow. Arsene said, I'm a huge fan. And yeah. he said, I'll do anything at the club. And he went, would you? How about you come to match day and serve us food? So either Raymond Blanc or his sous chef wow. serves the players food post game. So I don't eat all day. Wow, and you wait. Because it is unbelievable. This is our performance center. We also have um, a virtual reality center, I guess, where we play a game, say last night at the Emirates. By about now, that game will be in the, in the system and you yeah. can put the goggles on it and be Mesut Ozil or Aubameyang or Lacazette. Okay. So the good thing about that is not just training footage or made up footage, it's actual game footage. Who's the biggest gym junkie? It, Danny Welbeck. Is he? Yeah, Danny Welbeck and, and Is now, that because he's had a lot of injuries? Or is it? No, he's, I mean, if you saw him, he's ripped constantly. The training facility is pretty impressive. Um, Better than Chelsea's, to be honest. No, 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 I wouldn't say, it's, okay, it's You played there like two years and suddenly Chelsea is the No, club. I didn't play that long, actually. <laughs> yeah. I did wear my club colours just to make sure that uh, I didn't I'm feel impressed. that out. Yeah, yeah, I'm impressed. You're you old enough better. to be a member of staff too, so <laughs> that's good. Virgil, thank you very much for having us here. No worries, thank thanks, you. mate. Cheers.